If you're a parent with a new catcher that is just starting to learn the position, here are my thoughts on the knee savers. There are pros and cons into using the knee savers. Let's dive into it. So in my opinion, the knee savers do serve a purpose for the younger catchers that are starting to learn the position. It helps them get comfortable being behind the plate and they're not wearing their legs out. One of the hardest things that we see is with the younger catchers is getting to proper stances and being able to hold those stances for periods of time. Now the downfall with the knee savers is that as you continue to get better as a catcher and you have to get to proper secondaries for blocking and throwing, catchers start to lean on these a little too much. Now where we get into trouble as catchers is when we try to get to our secondary, we start to still sit too low and now I can't be agile in my side to side movements or when I throw. So even if we have the knee savers, we have to make sure when we get to our secondary that we now come off those knee savers. So the knee savers are good when we're given our signs, when we're in our primary position, nobody on base. But when we get to our secondary, we have to make sure that we're coming off those knee savers and being in a more athletic stance using our hip flexors and our strong parts of our legs with our hamstrings and quads. Smash a like or subscribe button below if you like this content and I'll be sure to get more out there.